Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to film today's video. This is definitely going to be a long one because it is a monthly favorites. All month long, I look forward to filming my monthly favorites. And let me just say, you guys know that my monthly favorites are normally, let's say, 25 minutes to 30 minutes long. Okay? Long video. Yes, I know. I love the fact that so many of you guys have let me know that you like to watch my videos like while you're getting ready in the morning, when you're let's say it on the toilet, we all do it, washing your face, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, putting your makeup on, getting ready for the day. It's the same exact way that I like to start my day. Almost every single day I start by watching at least, I'm gonna say an hour of YouTube videos. And a lot of you guys told me that you do the same thing and that my videos have become a part of your everyday routine and that you actually prefer and like the really long, babbling, talking ones. So I love you guys all so, so much. I just feel really connected to you guys a lot lately. I guess through Instagram, I've been really active and on Facebook and I try to respond back to as much of your comments lately and over on the vlog channel, that I said that weird, the vlog channel, um, I just feel like really connected to you guys lately. And for my monthly favorites, I always just have this like feel like you guys are all in my room with me and it's like girl talk. A lot of you guys know that I work from home and you know, I'm, I'm alone every single day, pretty much Monday through Friday. I live a little bit far from my family. Mike is always at work. He works really long hours. I know he's on my vlog channel a lot, but pretty much throughout the week, Monday through Friday, we don't see too much of each other. I don't really see too much of anyone. To be honest with you guys, everyone's working and I'm working from home. So a lot of times it gets lonely and you guys are like my interaction. So. I might sound like a loser, but to sit down and chat with you guys, even if it's just for like 25 minutes, like it's the best part of my day and I absolutely love it. So let's jump into August monthly favorites. So I'm grabbing a few of these products right here. These are the first items that I want to talk about. This is a skincare company. You can find them at Ulta. I think some of their products are exclusive to Ulta only and all the rest of them, of course, you can buy them online. So the name of this company is called Wish and I know if, I'm, if I say skincare, it doesn't sound like anything all that exciting. Even though to me, I'm such a nerd when it comes to skincare because one of the things that I absolutely love is taking a shower at the end of every day and really like layering on the scrubs and the exfoliators and body washes and shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioning treatments like I just love that time at the end of the day it really helps me to unwind and I love how the bathroom smells good and smelling good when I get out so I do get excited for skincare but I think that this line is not just basic skincare it's very innovative and you're gonna see what I mean everything is not just your typical product so the first one that I want to talk about is something that they call their hair inhibiting gel and basically what it is is a moisturizer however this is the coolest thing guys you put it on every single day or as often as you can remember and it's actually supposed to slow down your hair growth which is amazing I don't know if you guys are like me but I shave everything from my chin down like it would be amazing if you just didn't grow hair from your chin down or actually I should say from your nose down because you don't want anything that mustache area either. Now this is to use on the body and this is what it looks like right here. And it's kind of like, it's a moisturizer but it's not a moisturizing cream, it's a moisturizing gel. The ingredients on it, um, it says that it has organic aloe, organic shea butter, shea, uh, let's try that again. Organic aloe, organic shea butter, and panthenol. So it's really gonna moisturize your skin and at the same time, it's gonna slow down the growth of your hair. 100% natural and organic products, really exciting. I've only used this around three times so far, so I don't wanna comment just yet. I feel like I wanna get through the entire bottle to see if it really does make a difference. It's something that you're not gonna see a big difference overnight, so you guys definitely will hear me updating you guys on this in the future. Remind me, if I haven't brought it up in about two months from now, to talk about that again, maybe in two monthly favorites from now. And the other one is also something that helps to slow down hair growth, and this is actually for your underarm. So what this is, is deodorant wipes. And I love deodorant wipes because I'm a very self-conscious person about always smelling good. Especially in the summertime, I don't feel like I smell bad, but even if I sweat and like to have that moistness underneath, I hate that word moist, hate it. That sticky feeling underneath my underarms drives me crazy. So I do personally like to carry around deodorant wipes. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like, but I've never heard of a deodorant wipe that actually helps slow down the hair growth on your underarm. So this is what it looks like right here. Smells really good. This one smells like citrusy and fruity. On the back it says, our easy to use swipe not only banishes odor, but also slows down unwanted hair growth. 
Now that's love at first swipe. So that's a really cool product. Next product from Wish that I want to talk about is a shave cream and this is what it looks like right here. I have never been a shave cream type of girl until I got on Accutane. I would always use soaps but I feel like Lately, any type of soap that I let touch my body or come anywhere near my body really dries the heck out of my body. How many times did I say body? So this is my favorite shave cream at the moment and I do wanna to read to you guys the ingredients. It has shea butter, green tea, and then the last two ingredients, which you guys know I'm addicted to both of them, coconut oil and jojoba seed oil. So enough be said, it's my love. All right, two more products from Wish that I wanna tell you guys about and if I can find out which ones are the ones that are exclusive to Ulta only, only. I will let you guys know, but you can find all of these at Ulta. This one right here, okay, is the CC Body Cream. I apply lotion every single time after I get out of the shower, either lotion or oil. This one is lotion, but this is a CC body lotion. So at first I'm like, all right, I don't think it's really gonna do that much. I've had a lot of CC body creams that kind of have a little bit of a tint to them, but nothing that special. This stuff starts out, let me see how I'm gonna demonstrate this. This starts out white like that, but when you mix it in, it kind of reacts with your body chemistry. Let me roll this bad boy in. And it gives the most beautiful golden sheen to your skin. So it does kind of provide a little bit of coverage. Maybe you have varicose veins or like me, you're covered in mosquito bites and the marks last for like the entire summer. This just gives the most beautiful like, oh, it's like a golden goddess sheen to your skin while also having a little bit of that like tinted moisturizer type of coverage. So I've been loving this product and if I don't apply this when I get out of the shower, I apply, you guys know, body oil. I've been addicted this summer to body oil, whether it's in a gel form, a spray form, or one like this, which is kind of like a straight up oil. It's a very liquidy formula. I don't know if you guys can see that at the top right there. On the back it says, did your skin lose its luster? Are you the type that craves extra moisturizing? Our amazing body oil restores the skin's natural luminance and reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. As if that wasn't enough, it provides lasting moisture while soothing inflamed skin, which the Lord knows that I have so bad right now on my Accutane. Some may say it's heavenly, but we like to think of it as supernatural. And it contains sesame seed oil, sunflower seed oil, jojoba seed oil, and olive leaf extract. So basically by the time that I get out of the shower, I slather this stuff all over my body. I'm not gonna lie, I have used both the CC cream and the oil together. I just love the feeling of my skin being just really nourished and soothed after a shower. So I have been loving these products from Wish and I had to share them with you guys. Next three products that I wanna talk with you guys about are products that I have been getting a lot of questions on lately and they have to do with nails, lips, and what's the last one? Nails, lips, and eyebrows. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is nails because a lot of you guys have been asking me lately, I don't know if my camera is too far away for you guys to be able to see my nails, probably not. A lot of you guys have been asking me lately, what have I been doing to my nails? They look extra long, extra shiny. Right now, this was done about 10 days ago, so I don't really think that they look all that great right now. First things first, I sound like a broken record. The main reason why my nails are so long, these are my nails, hold on. Let me try to bring them up to the camera to focus. This never works, my camera takes like 10 hours to focus. I have to like cover my face, okay. Hopefully you guys can see them right there. Um, the main reason that my nails have grown to this length, they're very long, they're strong, they're healthy, is because of this baby right here. The original Nail Envy by OPI. I hope my camera's focused on my face now. Hold on, okay, there we go. This baby right here is basically a nail protein. You paint it on your nails every single day for like seven days in a row and then you use it as a base coat and top coat underneath and on top of whatever nail polish you use. I have been using this stuff for about the past, mm, I wanna say year and a half to two years. It has changed my whole nail game. That's all I'm gonna say about this stuff. It's $20 if you pick it up at Target, but you can get it on Amazon or eBay for $9, and that's what I do. But I haven't even been using that a lot lately because I have been addicted to getting gel nails done. It's so expensive here in New York. I have to do it about twice a month. Um, I feel like it's just something I'm treating myself with lately, but gel nails, that's what this is. It's just the nude color. I don't know the, the color because it's just like a number when you pick it out at the salon. But I've been really into pampering myself lately, so a lot of you guys have been noticing that my nails look extra shiny, and yeah, basically that's it. I've been addicted to gel nails. So next on the list is eyebrows. A lot of you guys have been asking me, mostly on Instagram, what is different about your eyebrows. I can't really put my finger on it, but they look different. So here's the thing. 
I did change the powder that I was using. I use a really cheap eyeshadow from NYX. I was using the shade Raven, which is kind of a really, really, really dark, 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 dark brown that was basically almost black. Um, instead of using that, I have switched over to Guilt Trip, which is a little bit of a lighter, lighter, <laughs> that sounded so weird, a lighter brown. You guys can see when I compare it to my hair, it's definitely a lot lighter than my hair. Um, I feel like when I look at my older videos, my eyebrows just looked so, so harsh. So I've been trying to lighten up a little bit on them. So basically I apply, I apply this, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, with an angled brush. And I got a little package from it. It oh my god! Like seriously, I can't speak today. I got a little package from It Cosmetics over the past weekend, and I'm gonna have an entire video on like first impressions on everything that they sent over. But holy crap, you guys! This brush right here is called their Fence Brush, and I'm gonna bring it up close so you guys can see. It actually has. Come on, come on, work with me, camera. Okay, look at this, guys. It actually looks like a little picket fence. Right there, the little tips on the hair. It's a, it's called the fence brush. And basically it helps us to draw on like little strokes. It doesn't have anything on it right now. But little strokes kind of like hair strokes. So ever since I got this brush, I, oh, that is completely out of focus now. Ever since I got this brush, I have been trying to draw in my little eyebrow hairs more in like strokes rather than such a heavy shadow. I feel like I used to really draw a really heavy block in the beginning of my eyebrows and it just looked very fake and unnatural. My eyebrows are definitely on the extreme side and bold and I like them like that, but I feel like I need to lighten up even probably a little bit more right in the center to make it look a little bit more like an, um, not an ambient, what is that word? Like an ombre type of eyebrow where it's a little bit lighter and then gets darker towards the end. And uh, basically that's it. I've been trying to do strokes rather than filling it in very heavy with a shadow. This is the shadow that I've been using and then I set it with my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. It's okay, I'm just trying to use up what I have. The brush is very big and I have big eyebrows and it's still too big for me because it gets around the skin around my eyebrows so I don't love it. It's okay for the time being, I just wanna finish it up. So that's basically what I've been doing different with my brows. Next question that I've been getting a lot from you guys is lips. What, I've, what have I been wearing on my lips? I know that so many people complain, Lee, you always look the same. Your hair is always the same. Your lipstick is always the same. Makeup's always the same. I like what I like, okay? I don't switch up my look every single day. You're not gonna find that here on my channel. But anyway, a lot of you guys have been loving the lip combo that I've been wearing like maybe the entire last month. So I wanna tell you guys exactly what it is and it's kind of a lot of product, but it lasts the entire day long. So that's why I love it. So what I do is first I apply um, the Dr. Dance Corda Balm, which is like the best lip balm ever invented. It's basically a chapstick, but it has cortisone in it. Cortisone or hydrocortisone? It has hydrocortisone in it. So basically it helps, it's said on there that it um, it's for itching and inflammation due to dry skin, sunburn, sunburn or cosmetics and inflamed lips. So I really, really love it. It has definitely um, treated the dryness and the soreness on my lips due to my medicine, my Accutane. So I apply that always before I apply anything. A lot of you guys have been telling me how is it that your lips are so dry and flaky and you complain about them all the time but you still are able to rock a matte lip because a lot of you guys know that I don't really like glossy lips. I mean, here and there it's okay but for my go-to every day, I like more of a matte lip. What I apply next is my favorite lip liner by MAC and this is called Boldly Bare. You know what guys, I wanna bring you in a little bit for this. So, this is what it looks like right here and it's basically a, I'm gonna say a peachy toned nude. So I, I line my entire lips with this and then I fill it in very lightly. Oh, I forgot a step. Oh no, rewind, rewind. After the chapstick and before the lip liner, what I like to do is apply a couple of dabs of a stain on my lips. I either use the one by Revlon Color Burst called the Bomb Stain in the shade Rendezvous. And this one is basically a really nice orangey shade right there. Or, that's not the top. I use this one right here from Giordano, which is more of a corally pink shade. They're not too different from each other, as you can see. One just has a little bit more warm tone. Actually, they're both warm tone. This just has a little bit more pink, and this has a little bit more orange. And I do not apply these on full blast because they can get very, very bright. I basically just dab, like three dabs on the bottom lip, three dabs on the top lip, work it in, and that way when my everything wears off, I still have that beautiful stain left behind. So after that, then is when I move on to the lip liner, Bold, Boldly Bare by MAC, that one right there. And then, 
star right here are these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I first applied the shade London, which is a beautiful brown shade, and I actually meant to pick up two of these. This is what it looks like right here. When it dries, it gets a little bit darker. It's kind of like a gray toned brown. And I meant to grab two of these. Um, I normally would just stop there and just leave it at London, but I grabbed Athens by accident. And when I opened it up, I was like, oh, it's like so, it's a little bit too light and peachy. And I felt like I really didn't like the way that it looked on its own on my lips. But then one day I was like, let me take a little bit of Athens and put it on top of London and then just like pat them in with my finger and boom, this lip combination was invented. Yes, I do it every single day. Yes, it lasts all day long and it's like my newest go-to every single day color. So that is what's on my lips. It's what's been on my lips for like the past 10 videos, I'm gonna say. This video is already 20 minutes long and I have so much more to show you guys. Let me try to speed it up a little bit. Again, I just love sitting here and talking with you guys. I swear, I really miss doing like live broadcast still. I think there's something called um, Paris, Periscope or something like that that a lot of you guys have been asking me to get where it's kind of like, I think it's through the phone and you can send in live questions and I don't know, but if that's the case, I really wanna get it because I have so much like free time during the day now that I really want like to be able to interact with you guys even more. The next favorite is a brush. This is the powder airbrush from Sephora and I have been applying this or using this to apply my foundation. Lately, every single day, it's my CoverGirl, um, ooh, not my Full Lash Bloom, that's my mascara. What is the name? My CoverGirl Aqua Smooth, at first I was like, that is such a big brush. I felt like it was really gonna sheer everything out, but my, I'm telling you guys, my foundation is done within 30 seconds when I use this right here. I basically just dab it in, do a dab on every single part of my face, and then just swirl it all around, and my makeup is done so fast. I've been loving this so much. I would do an updated routine with this, but I have so many foundation routines lately, like that would just be too much but I love this brush. All right, this was not even supposed to be a part of the video, but I know a lot of you guys lately have been asking me, where are my snack favorites? I used to include a lot of food on this channel, but um, over on my vlog channel, I talk about food so, so much that I really don't feel like I need to talk about it here on my main channel too. But I will tell you guys a snack that I am addicted to. I have maybe, I'm gonna say two bags of this every single week. It's the Chex Mix Muddy Buddies in the cookies and cream flavor. This is what they look like right here. I don't wanna open this bag because I just finished the bag this morning and I wanna, <laughs> I wanna make this one last until the weekend. But basically what they are, are Chex Mix that are covered in like, I'm gonna say it's like a, a confectioner sugar, like a powder sugar, and then little chunky Oreo bits that's like weaved in throughout the Chex Mix and it's just the most delicious combination ever. If you're like me and you love anything that's Oreo flavored, bomb.com. I also really love the Oreo Culotta from Dunkin' Donuts lately, so, so good. And then, okay, so that's kind of like the indulgent thing. And then I did talk about this in my last Accutane update, but I don't know if a lot of you guys watch that because you know, not a lot of you have, or not all of you have skin problems. So I don't expect you to watch my Accutane videos if it doesn't really pertain to you. Um, but what I have here are these little water enhancers and I have been drinking so much more water lately because of these things. I used to dread drinking water on a daily basis and juice actually is not good for you at all. It has so much sugar, um, high fructose, corn, high fructose, high, we're just not gonna say it. Anyway, what these water enhancers do, you put one or two squirts in your water and it gives, it kind of just enhances the flavor. It's not very sweet, but it gives a little hint of flavor and I'm telling you guys, game changer for me. I have, it's easy for me to get eight fluid ounces times eight in my body of water every single day. I'm not even speaking English anymore, you guys. Basically what I'm trying to say is I drink a ton more water because of these little water enhancers. My favorite one is the one by Arizona Iced Tea. And I also have the ones by Mio. They're basically the same thing, just different flavors. I have the Black Cherry and the Tropical Fusion. You can get them at CVS. You can get them at the supermarket, pretty much anywhere. I'm telling you guys, I do not regret picking these up and you will not either. All right, we're getting to the end of the list here, guys. Next things that I wanna talk about, a lot of you guys have been asking me why I haven't been showing too much of my Just Fab and my Fabletics. I feel like I was showing them so, so much. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a break because I didn't want you to get overwhelmed or I didn't want it to get kind of tedious where I'm always showing you guys the same things. Just Fab has finally come out with their little boots 
and all the fashion for the fall and the winter and I am so excited to wear these. These are not really combat style boots because they lace up and they have a little bit of like a tweed detail here and they don't have any zippers so I did justify it. I don't think that I have anything else that looks like these. I can wear these with dresses, I can wear them with leggings, I can wear them with skinny jeans. I seriously cannot wait to wear these. Next is this adorable um, jacket. No, it's a backpack from Just Fab and I actually do have two of them. Let me know if you guys like it because I will do a little giveaway for back to school and I will pack it with a bunch of back to school goodies. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. I love the snake skin pattern. That is a tongue twister. And Just Fab has started not too long ago coming out with clothing. So I did pick up a couple of clothing items. I haven't worn any of these yet because I always like to put them to the side. Show you guys before I wear them. The first one is this little black wrap dress with a zipper detail and a little bit of ruching across the stomach. I feel like this is the perfect little black dress for the fall time. Something that you can absolutely dress up or dress down. The next one is kind of like a sweatshirt material. It's a really casual dress. I love this. I'm so, I love fall fashion. Like summer is fun too, but my absolutely favorite is fall fashion. I just love layering. I love being comfy. I love the different textures and I love the design of this dress right here. It has little pockets and a polstering detail. I feel like it's just so comfortable. The next one, oh my God, I can't wait to wear this. This just screams me. It has like an off the shoulder top white or an ivory shade and by the way a lot of these come in different colors too and i get everything in a size small and then attached to it is like this patent leather skirt oh my god i can't wait to wear this i think i know the perfect little hookah spot that i want to wear that too and then really quickly i want to show you guys my picks from fabletics this is the top right here it's just a basic little white tank and the back looks like this I thought that was so cute. I just love the little details that they always have. They always add in. And then these are so, so comfortable. I don't know if you would call these jeggings. They're probably jeggings. And they look like little jeans, guys. Come on, how freaking cute is that? You can wear this out, you can wear this to the gym. I'm not gonna lie, more often than not, I wear these out or just around the house. I feel like it makes me feel a little bit more put together and in the mood to work out on the rare occasion that I do. So I thought that these were so cute. And again, these are from Fabletics. All right guys, and the very last but not least, I wanted to include a little shout out to a company that actually made my channel trailer for me. A lot of you guys know that I'm not that great great at editing. I'm not afraid to admit it. I can do the basics, but I'm really not skilled on all those little special effects and really cool things that a lot of the YouTubers do know how to do. I'm just not one of them. Anyway, they did make my channel trailer for me and I will link it down below in case you guys have not seen it. And what they are is a company that actually edits YouTube videos. So if you are a creator and say that you film a lot and you just don't have time to edit videos, you can actually film and then send your clips over to them and they will edit the entire thing for you and then send it back. It's really cool and different and something that I've never heard of before. And for me, it's not something that I would utilize on an every single video basis. But if I have like a special project or say Halloween videos or something that I really want cool special effects for. I think that it's a great option to have. They're called youtubeediting.com and I will post their website down below as well as the trailer that they created for me. Okay loves, and that is everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. I'm sad. I know that this video is really long. I kind of don't want to end it, but thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you for sticking through it with me through the entire video if you've made it this long. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel. As always, it will be posted down below. It gets really real over there, so just be prepared. Love you all so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.